Hello and welcome back, my fellow amateurs. Today, we've got a tasty twist on a classic. It's gonna be uh, real simple and easy. Just like me after a few. Anyways, so what we're gonna be making today with all these ingredients is a jalapeno popper grilled cheese. Should be tasty. Here we go. All right, so for today's recipe, what we're gonna need is some Texas toast, or whatever bread you prefer, bacon, olive oil, garlic salt, onion powder, and pepper, cream cheese, jalapenos. The recipe does call for whole jalapenos, uh, <laughs> and I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. So we got sliced. We're going to make it work. We're going to need cheddar cheese, parchment paper, couple of bowls to mix everything into, tablespoon, a half teaspoon, and a cup. All right, so to get started, we got to do a few prep things. We're going to preheat the oven to uh, 425. We're gonna take our jalapenos. What we're gonna do, like I said, it called for whole jalapenos. I wasn't paying attention. We're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna take these sliced ones and I'm gonna put half, maybe, maybe about half the jar, right? We're gonna sprinkle those bad boys. Um, into there. That, that seems about right. right? Okay, so uh, also, while uh, handling jalapenos, don't rub your eyes. That's a bummer, yeah. So what we're gonna do now, we put our jalapenos into a bowl. We're gonna take our oil, and we're just gonna drizzle a tablespoon of oil onto them. Gonna swish it around a little bit, make sure it gets all over that they're nice and covered. Okay, and also for prep, you want to get your parchment paper in a pan, line that. What we're gonna do next, okay, so they're nice and covered. We're just gonna Kind of space them out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, hold on, we don't want we don't want to miss any of the juicy goodness there. There we go. All right. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this in the oven uh, for 15 minutes or until they start to you know look a little crispy. But not too crispy. So now, while we wait for that to cook, we're gonna get started on our bacon. Okay. So it calls for six pieces, uh, but if you love bacon, put more. If you don't like bacon, put less. Okay. So now you can cook it however you want. If you want to cook it in a pan, you want to. I'm gonna cheat and use our uh, air fryer. Okay, so we'll cut that open. Um, and at every turn, as always, make sure you have washed your hands. Because uh, you don't want that on there, okay? All right, so now while we wait for those to cook, we can start prepping the cream cheese. So it calls for eight ounces, or not eight ounces, four ounces. So what we'll do, cut this open. Hopefully without injuring myself. So what I've got here is an eight ounce. So what I'm just gonna do is just gonna cut it in half as best I can. Now, if you want it creamier, I imagine you can mix it a little more if you want, that's okay. Okay. 
So now, about a tablespoon, we're gonna get our half teaspoon. Get our garlic and onion powder. Just one half teaspoon. Uh, the recipe calls for one fourth ground pepper. Uh, as always, I don't have one. I have a half. So, kids, right? We're just gonna do our best. Fill this about halfway. Just do it. Okay. Now. Alright, so now we've roasted the jalapeno, we've cooked our bacon, so the next step here is we're going to cut this up with tiny pieces as best we can. Now we've chopped it up into the tiny little bits. Mm -mm -mm. Tasty. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take that, now put it in with our cream cheese and we're gonna mix it all together. I don't know. That is our mixture. Alright. So now, let's prepare everything else. Okay. So, the easy part. We're going to take our toast, pick whatever side you want, we're going to butter that up. Do that for all four pieces. All right, so now we've got our bread, we've got our mixture, we've got our bacon, and we've got our cheese. Let's head into the kitchen. Okay, so <clears throat> you're going to want to preheat your uh, stovetop, your, your pan, whatever you're going to use. Preheat to, you want medium heat, you don't want it too high. So, what we're going to do is take one piece of our bread, we're going to take some of this mixture, and lay it on. Now, if you want some more, add some more. If you want just a light touch, put some light. Whatever it is to your taste, okay? Do your best not to, you know, smear yourself in the butter. Unless you're into that. Alright, so we've smeared on our little mixture. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple pieces of the bacon, put those bad boys on there. It's looking delicious. Okay, and then. We're just gonna drop that on. And then just a little handful of cheese.
and then our second piece on top. And then just give those a little while to cook. We'll see how it turns out. So, uh, quick side note. These are not like normal grilled cheese, so uh, they're a little hard to flip. Um, what I ended up doing uh, was using two flippers, two spatulas, there we go. And <laughs> uh, it made the second one a little easier to flip. As you can see, I got cheese everywhere. That'll be fun to clean. Okay, so. I cannot eat this delicious gloriousness myself because God hates me. Uh, so I have asked my daughters to come and try it out. So take a look at it, analyze it. What do you think? How's it look? Um, yeah, it, it looks totally stunning. It's like modeling material. Um, yeah, it's very cheesy. Um, cream cheese in it. Jalapeno poppers uh, mixture. Ooh, yum. Whatever you guys are adding, you guys go ahead. Oh my god, that's never cool. <laughs> and if there's anything wrong with it, you can say that too. I won't, my feelings won't get hurt. <laughs> All right, so a to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, perfect. Well. I hope uh, you'll be able to do this again in the future. <laughs>